Alors voilà, on va commencer une discussion avec Richard. Et je vais essayer de faire la traduction en français simultané. So now we are starting a little chat with Richard. And I'll try to make a translation bonjour. at the same time. Alors, bonjour Richard. Hello. Un plaisir. Uh, I came uh, to see you. Je suis venu pour le voir au sujet de la situation, de sa situation à Montségur. About your problem here in Montségur, because uh, <coughs> you have to leave this place uh, in April, I think. Yeah, they're trying to get me out as soon as they can. Alors, il dit, euh, je lui demande, euh, c'est compliqué un peu, je lui demande euh, sa situation parce qu'il doit quitter la maison dans six mois, euh, au mois d'avril. Et on va essayer de savoir un peu la raison de tout ça. Et qu'ils veulent le, donc le virer. Alors, euh, the people, uh, you said, want to kick you out because you have some uh, problem with uh, the mary, la mairie about uh, what is happening uh, in Montségur the business et... yeah i am caught between um, various factions here in Montségur i have been here 10 years now next year will be my 10th year in Montségur And during this time, I have become more involved in the castle and in the mountain and in the land because my heart is with this place. I am in love with, still with the mountain and, and the history. And we have come to a time where different forces are trying to commercially exploit Montségur. This village was unknown for centuries. The first tar road connecting it to the outside world was not built until the 1960s until the mid 1960s was not the first tar road until then this town was utterly unknown and um, completely remote when I first came here in the 1980s it was still like a ghost town um, most of the houses empty and in the last few years there has been a increased attempt to revive the the area and um, for the surrounding communes the chateau of Montsegur is the biggest cash cow the biggest um, tourist attraction and the best way for earning revenue for the surrounding area and this started to become a problem a couple of years ago with an, initi an initiative called project Montsegur which was actually started by the previous mayor the previous mairie and is now um pretty much the baby of the current Mary Robert Finance. And this project's idea was to turn the castle into a theme park or into a, um, a tourist attraction and to try to create in the surrounding area a what they called a grand site for France, a great a huge um, regional park. To achieve this the commune bought all the land from in the surrounding area from the the farmers so all the land as far as the the, the mountain de la frau and the um, peak de saint Barthélemy is now owned by the commune of montsegur but um, the commune did not have the money to pay for this land they um, paid for it with loans the, every, everything was on um, was a loan Uh, there, were, there was no real money. They hoped that when they created the grand site, they would have funding from the French government and that they could get the area listed as a UNESCO um, World Heritage Site and that if UNESCO recognized Montsegur as a World Heritage Site, then maybe the, the French government would um, give money to assist with the loans and with securing the, the park. Um, this has not happened. Um, in the course of the last year, instead, what has happened is that UNESCO has gone bankrupt. As a the World Heritage Organization can no longer afford to pay its own staff. They have suspended any any payments, 
and the French government has not um, contributed any funds, leaving the commune of Montsegur with massive debts from buying the land. And in order to pay for these loans and to offset the debts, the commune has granted mineral rights to a mining company called the Imrus Group. Um, this is an international group that recently took control two years ago of um, the of the the Timun talc quarry in um, the Ariège in Luzanac, in the Ariège on the opposite side of the mountain. Uh, there has always been for maybe a hundred years a talc quarry uh, mining um, the Picti Saint Barthélemy, the Tabor for talcum powder for talc for sprinkling on babies' asses and as an ingredient in um, in cosmetics. And now an international group, the Imrus Group, has identified a new mineral element, a new mineral element that was not identified until a few years ago, which is something called Imrus Talc. And apparently there are vast deposits of this Imrus Talc in the Pic de Saint Barthélemy. And this substance, this newly identified mineral substance, is a key ingredient in skin rejuvenation and in beauty products. And um, they have taken control of a chunk of land that was originally meant to be part of the regional park, which is on the east side of the Pic de Saint Barthélemy, and um, are mining it for um, Imrus talc. So for the first time this is allowed heavy industry to come into the valley of Montsegur. Never in the history of mankind has um, this valley been exploited for um, heavy commercial industry. And they are literally eating the mountain to, um, to get the substance, the imrus, the imrus talc. They have to pulverize the rocks, which may release radon, which is a radioactive gas. And another side effect is that the talc may contain within it um, asbestos fibers or a substance very similar to asbestos that um, is a known carcinogen, which is side effects of pulverizing the rock. So the waste that they leave is um, toxic. And mm -hmm. um, I saw on the map the what had happened, that um, they had requested initially a much larger area. The Imrus group wanted to take a big chunk of the valley and um, the Mary Robert Finance, the Mary of Montsegur, says that they made a compromise with the group where they just gave them the land that they have now and because um, they wanted more. And um, according to the Mary, the deal with the mining company will be renegotiated in 2020. <clears throat> so at this time in 2020, the Imrus group may want more of the mountain. They may try to take take more of the mountain in 2020, unless by 2020 there is some opposition, and and this deal is made public, because all of this was done in secrecy, no one was told. The villagers do not know, the newspapers La Depeche know nothing, and don't don't care. They just run an article about um, industrial tourism, and uh, where the tourists want to visit the talc mine, but they don't understand that. Um, this mining operation is eating um, the Tabor. The Tabor is the mountain that Esclamond de Foire is supposed to have climbed when she turned into a dove. They say that after saving the grail that Esclamond climbed to the summit of the Tabor and turned into a dove, the symbol of the Cathar faith. This is the same mountain that Otto Rahn describes as one of the most beautiful summits of the Pyrenees, and the place where we have the Lac du Diable and the Lac de Truit which is where the river comes from, where the Lasset rises from. It is the source of the Lasset. Um, the Lasset feeds the Hers, the river further down in the valley. So obviously if you dump toxic waste on the source of the Lasset and the Hers, it affects the entire river system. So this is something that um, yeah, we are naturally um, now very concerned by. Originally, um, the plan of the Imrus group was they wanted to use La Raboul as waste fill. La Raboul is a valley, very beautiful, f uh, f further up the valley of Montsegur in the valley of the Lasset. It's where we had our Halloween party um, many years ago. And it's a very 
green, fertile place full of ancient dolmen and earthworks and signs of Neolithic inhabitation back in um, BC, um, BCE, before the Christian era. So um, this whole area of La Rabul was supposed to be filled with rubble from the quarry that when they take the, 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 the rocks out of the mountain they wanted to use the, the head of the valley to fill with the rubble from eating the mountain and this may still happen in 2020. So La Rabul is itself um, under threat. And, uh, right. um, mm -hmm. and so uh, you are... Uh, what is the link between this and uh, the, the fight you have uh, with... Uh, because uh, you are a defender of Monsegur and uh, why do you think uh, they want uh, to get you out of here? Well, um, I don't know what I am, but um, I'm a crazy person. But um, ten years ago, I believe I saw a <coughs> a figure in the castle, the Dame Blanche, the white lady, that I equate with um, Esclamant de Foix, with the um, the Cathar High Priestess, and with the Guardian of this land. She is the true guardian, but um, at this time I promised I would defend the castle. I got down on my knees in front of the apparition and I vowed uh, of my life that I would defend the, the castle to her. Uh, it was um, the promise I made to the lady. And um, since then um, I see the castle is threatened and I have no choice but to somehow act on its behalf. Last year we made a big publicity about the um, Project Montsegur and the efforts to turn the castle into a theme park. Um, mm. This is not because I have a problem with the tourist revenue. I don't like tourists, but at the same time I realize they are necessary for the economy. But I had a big problem with two aspects of the plan. One was to restrict access to the mountain. I don't think anyone has the right to restrict access to the mountain to say you're not allowed to climb this mountain or to put a gate or a fence or to say that it is illegal.